On December 8, 2015, a few petroleum industry employees in the United States Senate held what they called a hearing regarding how much of the current global temperature increase is due to human activities. Inexplicably, they did not ask any experts in the subject to attend, nor to give testimony. Fortunately, members of the minority political party managed to invite scientists to testify, which several did. The issue in question. Senator Tom Cruise wants to know why no climatologist in the world thinks that human-caused climate change has paused. All of the experts invited explained to him why, but here in this video I will expand on that explanation. Note this chart on the right which shows for the last 18 years that there's been no significant warming whatsoever. Now that is directly contrary to what the data set showed. Please note first that Senator Cruz has made an assertion under the pretense of asking a question, in essence giving testimony while not under oath. He stated Earth's global average temperature has not increased significantly in the past 18 years, and he presented a chart pretending to support that assertion. I will explain his chart now. The data come from the Remote Sensing System Satellite Array, which measures part of the electromagnetic spectrum emitted from the upper layer of Earth's lower troposphere. A computer model was then applied to these data to simulate what the global average temperature was at the time, with error bars. The numbers are not temperature measurements. They are computer simulations of temperature, with varying degrees of confidence. What is being modeled by the data accounts for about 12 hundredths of 1% of Earth's climate. Inexplicably, Senator Cruz also asserted that the past 18 years is one-third of what he called, quote, man's climate influence since year 1750, end of quote. One would have hoped that a United States senator could pass a simple math test. By the way, the satellite data go back 37 years, but Senator Cruz shows only 18 years. Even these numbers don't equal one-third. Now, Dr. Titley, I noticed in your uh, written testimony that, that you took a moment to address what you described as, as the so-called pause in, in global temperatures. By the pause, are you referring to the last 18 years of, of, of no record, significant recorded warming. Notice once again that Senator Cruz is stating a falsehood while not under oath under the pretense of asking a question. Well, unlike your previous witness, I am not referring to the 1940s. Uh, it is, I thought you'd like that. <laughs> Indeed. Yes. The, the pause is very interesting, as you know, sir. Uh, 1998, Big El Nino. So it's kind of interesting we started 18 years. We don't look at a 15-year data set or a 10-year data set or a 20-year data set. We look at an 18-year data set. Uh, but even if you do that, that's fine. Let's look at that. Yes, let's look at that. Looking at the remote sensing system's modeled temperature for the past 18 years in a graph that I made to show an uncluttered plot as well as a trend line, we note that any detectable signal is lost in the noise of normal variation. This is why no climatologists use these data when talking about climate change. Even some of the staff members at Remote Sensing System have told people to not use this data to do so. Uh, we have... Oh. This is low budget here, I gotta do my own charts. <laughs> Thanks, Amanda. Well, let me Senator, take a moment on... So, here, here sir, just to enter answer your question, Senator. Senator Cruz wanted to interrupt when actual temperature measurements suddenly appeared. Fortunately, Admiral David Titley is familiar with that behavior, and he politely told Senator Cruz that he wanted to answer Cruz's so-called question, which he then did. Here was 1998, and here's today. So, uh, on me, I mean, I'm just a simple sailor, but it's hard for me to see the pause. I am just a simple cowboy, and I cannot see any pause either. This chart shows the land and surface temperatures, global average, for the time span Senator Cruz cherry-picked with his upper troposphere simulated temperatures. In the past 18 years, 17 of them have set record high global average temperatures going back in a data set 135 years. 
Year 2015 is expected to set another record high global average temperature. This is why no experts in the related science venues thinks a pause happened. By the way, the land and ocean surface temperatures apply to only about 7% of Earth's climate system. On that chart? So, I, I think the pause is kind do, of coming Do, do you dispute the satellite measurement? Once again, Senator Cruz has made a false assertion under the pretense of asking a question. What he called, quote, the satellite measurements, end of quote, are not measurements. They are computer models of the lower troposphere's global average temperature based on satellite data. Let's not talk about this satellite. Here's but, 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 but okay, sir, well, sir I'm asking, do you just, I, I, would, I, I understand that the global warming alarmists don't want to talk about the okay, satellite sure. data. By, quote, the global warming alarmist, end of quote, Senator Cruz means all of the scientists working in the various science-related venues regarding human-caused climate change. Uh, talk I'm about asking. the satellite. Let's, let's talk about the satellite measurements. Let's talk about orbital decay. Let's talk about overlapping satellite records. Let's talk about stratospheric temperature contamination. Uh, I think Dr. Christie and Dr. Spencer, when they've put this out, they have been wrong, I think, at least four consecutive times. Each time the data record has had to be adjusted upwards. There have been several sign errors. So when with all due respect, sir, I don't know which uh, data exactly your staff has, whether it's the first or second or third or fourth correction to Dr. Christie's data. Uh, we used to have a negative trend, then we had no trend, and now we begrudgingly have an upward trend. So uh, looking at those data, you know, you know it's okay. But here's, it, here's it, where it, we live. Let, let, me see if we I, live. let me see if I can understand. The, the first argument you gave in response to this, and it is an argument that a number of the global warming alarmists use. It's Senator Cruz means, of course, all of the world's experts in the subject when he says, quote, global warming alarmist, end of quote. They say, well, 18 years ago was El Nino, and it's arbitrary to begin there. And, and I will confess, I, I don't understand that argument because we have 18 years of no significant warming. So. Earth has seen a sharp and significant increase in global average temperatures in the past 18 years. Looking only at the upper layer of the lower troposphere using computer simulated averages based on a climate model which are themselves based on a very poor data set is dishonest and all of Senator Cruz's so-called quote global warming alarmist end of quote have told him why. If Senator Cruz wanted to look at global average temperatures, he would look at Admiral David Titley's chart. Note how angry Senator Cruz got when he was forced to do so. If you don't like an 18-year window, we can start in 1999. There's no significant warming for seven years. If you don't like a 17-year window, we can start in 2000. Then we don't have a significant warming. It is true for any date across those 18 years, so, so I, I, I fail to see the significance. Actually, Senator, it's not. If you take off that top really big spike and you take that out, you start getting the upward bias. And this is what uh, people do when you start looking at these relatively arbitrary times, is you start with a really high number at the left-hand side, and that kind of influences your, your basically your linear trend. Okay, let's do that. I will subtract a year and then another and then another. Let us see what that does to the trend line. When deniers of reality wish to show any kind of pause in global average temperature increase, they need merely cleverly pick and choose which years to start and end their trend lines. This is why no climatologists have said such short time spans have any statistical significance. So, when you start looking at things like every decade, you have an upward trend in the data, and that's from the World Meteorological Organization. And, and I would note, you asked about the, the source of the data on the right chart. It, it's actually not Dr. Christie's data. It's the remote sensing systems, the RSS. Yes, the remote sensing systems data, which is a computer model of one tiny fraction of 1% of Earth's climate system. In this graph, I have shown the actual anomalous human-caused warming of Earth in joules. I have marked the tiny part that Senator Cruz is talking about there at the bottom in yellow. I had to exaggerate the yellow line three orders of magnitude so that it will show on this chart. Earth's climate system has warmed due to human activities, 
by about 18.5 times 10 to the 22nd joules. Senator Cruz does not want you to know this fact, let alone why.